four catches per second. After 25 years, it doesn't seem fast. I learned to juggle four balls in the summer of 1987. I didn't meet my first five-ball juggler until I went to college. Within six months, I had learned everything he could do. Six months after that, I quit school. <laughs> Since then, I've worked with four different juggling partners, all of them over six feet tall. Six years ago, I started dropping Mentos mint candies into bottles of Coke. And six years ago, I stopped juggling. So now, I make viral videos with Stephen Voltz. We dropped 500 Mentos mint candies into 100 bottles of Coke. <laughs> we turned a quarter of a million sticky notes into waterfalls. And we made a Coke and Mentos-powered rocket car. <laughs> now, in the last six years, you know, uh, a Rolling Stone called us wizards. Uh, people have emailed us saying, you guys are geniuses. Well, what I'd like to talk to you about today is why I hate the word genius. I think it's a pretty useless word. Along with the word talent, I think that's pretty useless too. When, when I was a kid, I was talented. I grew up in Brunswick, Maine. I was a young gay math geek, and I was openly and proudly a math geek. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was 1987, so the rest of it took some more time. <laughs> but, um, but people said, oh, you're talented at math. And I kind of liked that. I mean, I'm talented. That's cool. But when I was in high school, I was one of 24 kids in the country invited to participate in the Math Olympiad program. This was for the geekiest of the math geeks. <laughs> this was a group of kids where some of, us had, like, some of us had memorized the powers of two all the way up to two to the 23rd, 8,388,608. Yeah. Just, just because, <laughs> thank you. Just because, you know, that seemed useful. Um, <laughs> seemed fun to know that. Um, now, when I went there, well, in Maine, I was talented. And at the Math Olympiad program, I was number 24 of 24. So, were the other kids more talented than I was? Were they some kind of geniuses and I wasn't? For years, I was plagued by this, this idea that maybe I would never do anything important because I wasn't talented enough, because I wasn't the right kind of genius. Well, one of my favorite movies is, uh, is Amadeus, a very fictional account of the life of Mozart. And in that, the composer Antonio Salieri curses God for giving him enough ability to recognize the genius of Mozart, but not giving him enough ability to create music the way Mozart could. So as a kid, I've, I was wondering, am I going to be a Mozart or am I going to be a Salieri? Am I going to be some kind of genius or am I doomed to a life of mediocrity because I'm not gifted enough? And if I can't do something great, what's, what's the point? Well, today, I don't believe in genius. I believe in hard work. What I've seen in myself and in others is that persistence is far more important than any notion of talent. I came to recognize that those, those other kids at the Math Olympiad program, they weren't more talented. 
they had spent more time. They had worked harder than I had. And it's, it's not fair to call it work because they didn't see it as work, I didn't see it as work, we thought it was fun. But regardless, they had spent more time doing math than I had, and they were better at it than I was. It was just that simple. When I started juggling, I found the exact same thing. It was all about practice. It was all about a lot of practice. There were no shortcuts. And in fact, when I started juggling, when I first started, I was terrible. It took me three months to learn how to juggle three balls. Three months. But I loved that bashing my head against it. I loved the challenge. Because when I finally got it, it was really satisfying. It was one of the first things in my life that I'd worked that hard at to achieve. I love the feeling that I could, I could face a challenge and I could get that sense of accomplishment. I love the idea that I could work at something and get better at it. And now, making viral videos, I find the ideas of genius and talent just aren't useful. If, say, we're, we're, we just started work on a new video, and if we're geniuses, well, the ideas are just supposed to come to us in a bolt of inspiration. It's supposed to be easy, but it isn't. So then, if we're not geniuses, then we're screwed, because we're never going to have a great idea. And how is that attitude going to help us make something? How does that attitude help you get better at what you want to do. The ideas of genius and talent get in your way. And research bears this out. If you think that your ability comes from an innate talent, when you face an obstacle, you're more likely to give up. But if you think that your ability comes from hard work, when you hit an obstacle, you're more likely to dig into it, and overcome it. In his, in his book, Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell popularized the idea of 10,000 hours, the idea that it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert at something. So whether it's playing chess, playing the violin, juggling, making viral videos, it's going to take 10,000 hours of practice to become world class. And at first, that seems like a scary amount of time. It seems completely overwhelming. But it's also really simple. Because it'll take a few years, but you can do that. It's like water wearing away the Grand Canyon. It just takes time. And what, what, what so many people don't realize is that you need the drive, the training, and the 10,000 hours. You don't need to be a genius. You don't need some kind of magical talent. You need to get up in the morning, every morning, and take one more step towards that ultimate goal of being great at what you do. I know when I was a kid, I. You know, I didn't have money, I didn't have a lot of opportunities or resources in front of me, but what I was rich in and what I think you guys are rich in is time. You have an abundance of time, so use that. Now, in my 44 years, I've spent 10,000 hours doing math, I've spent 10,000 hours juggling, I've spent a few thousand hours playing Angry Birds. <laughs> Three stars, all levels. <laughs> and I'm working on my 10,000 hours of making viral videos. And I love that process. I love getting better at what I do. So with, you know, it took, it took years to win a gold medal at the International Jugglers Championships. It took six months to make that first Coke and Mentos video. It took uh, about a year to make the sticky note video and a year to make the Coke and Mentos rocket car. But I loved every minute of that because we kept getting better 
and I'm still today getting better at what I do. So what do you guys want to be great at? You start your 10,000 hours. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to live in New York or L.A. If you, if you have the drive, the training, the time, you can do things that to, to you today seem completely outside the realm of possibility. Finally, my friend Morton Hansen and I, we used, to, uh, we used to finish our juggling show together with these words that he wrote about another word I don't like, which is impossible. Impossible is an extremely limiting word in describing what is clearly taking place in front of one's eyes. Perhaps this is the most direct way that I can illustrate that there is much outside everyday understanding that is entirely real and possible. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>